This is a group of larva that goes by the name Perga affinis, or Spitfire sawfly. Spitfire sawfly are found in Australia, and while many species of sawfly exhibit this clustering behavior, this species has found its niche by mimicking animal droppings. This unappetizing appearance is used to ward off typical predators, but there are many other reasons why this cooperative behavior is beneficial to their survival. Sawfly larvae are typically gregarious, meaning they travel in groups. It has been observed that the group living larvae are much more likely to reproduce than independent sawfly larvae. The most obvious benefit for this is protection from predators, but there are many other angles to this. Thermoregulation also occurs, in which the warmth in the group can be shared amongst its members. Group living sawfly generally have a higher temperature than lone sawfly larvae. It has also been found that warmer sawfly larvae tend to have a shorter growth cycle, and group living larvae tend to grow much larger by the end of it. Chances of successful pupation increases because of these factors. A much more dramatic benefit to group living is this unique defense mechanism wielded by sawfly larvae. Simply put, the larvae flick their heads in sync with one another. This signals others of predators while feeding, and is done in order to intimidate potential predators and parasitoids. This is most likely accomplished through a combination of visual cues and vibrations. Similar to their feeding behaviors, communication between the larvae is very important for movement, which is maintained by tapping and contractions between the individuals. Contractions within a group create vibrations, signaling that movement is about to occur, while tapping is likely used to preserve order and coordinate group movement. Molting behavior is also affected by their gregarious lifestyle. In one study, it was shown that sawfly larvae announce their molting prior to foraging, and the other group members wait until everyone is ready. Sawflies are closely related to wasps and bees. There are thousands of species of sawfly, and they are thought to have existed over 250 million years ago. Despite this, there are still many mysteries behind this creature.